biggest questions that astronomy is trying to answer over the next decade is looking for habitable planets around other stars. And one of the big questions we're trying to answer is where in fact do we find organic molecules, organic matter in these stellar systems. What our research is doing over these last, you know, over this last year, over this past summer, especially with these students um, and graduate students working together, is to try to answer these questions of where these prebiotic molecules form in the astronomical environment. So what we do is we use a technique where we start with molecules that we know are in the interstellar medium, we blow them up and we see what comes out. And the hope is that we get matches between our laboratory data and the GBT data. And if we get matches, we put all of our focus into identifying those lines. The people would ask us, are you going to see the line? Are you going to see the money molecule? And we said, don't ask that question until, until we see if we see it. And now we've seen that. So we have an answer. Yes, it's there. Um, and now we can really go into analysis mode with it as soon as we have this transition. We all worked together and set up an instrument to do a measurement. And in that measurement, we found um, this new molecule, cyanomethanamine. So cyanomethanamine is made of two HCN monomers. It's, an, it's the HCN dimer. Which can form anine, and anine is part of RNA and DNA. So cyanomethanamine is very important. So we had to put together all the pieces in order to look for this spectral line of cyanomethanamine to help confirm the detection. After like seven weeks, we didn't get any results until like that last final week, we finally saw a line. We took like a, like a million averages to finally see HCN dimer. And that's when everybody was just so excited because it's like the piece that we was, you know, waiting for. We also did a proposal for the GBT. We used the GBT to uh, look into Sagittarius B2 region. We looked into Sagittarius B2 region because it is the most chemically rich environment in our galaxy. Looking for uh, a line of the cyanomethanamine that we actually were able to detect over the summer. You know, we've already detected most of the lines from this molecule um, in this source, in Sagittarius B2 North. Um, and this is the last set of transitions that we're going after to have the complete spectrum of it characterized. We got it! High five. What? We got it. You got what? The line. Okay, so this is the last confirming line then. Great. Okay. High five, you guys. High five. <laughs> nice job, <Nicole. laughs> Very good. And we were so excited to detect the cyanomethanamine in space. We didn't really understand how incredible this was. They told us more so that this happens one at maybe four times a year, like worldwide. The team here found the ultimate prebiotic of prebiotic molecules. And at least in Sagittarius B2, um, it appears that we this new molecule is just sitting right there, waiting for us to find it. <laughs> so it does have implications for the origins of life. If we can start to determine what the precursors are to DNA and RNA, then we can start to, you know, figure out how life was formed on Earth or in the solar system.